Oh yeah! He's loud. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! But not so loud that you can hear him in Canada, which is why David needs money for a flight and new robes to take part in the International Town Crier Championships in Nova Scotia next year. The whole idea is to promote Mablethorpe, Sutton-on-Sea, Sandylands and Trustthorpe. I'm standing in at Skegness at the moment because their town crier has retired. It's a whole area that we can promote just by being what I am. <laughs> but as a man of the people and attending almost every major event up Lincolnshire's east coast, David's already got plenty of crowdfund backing. He does fundraising for all local causes. Uh, he's really good. He never says no whenever you ask him anything, even if he's feeling poorly. It's always, yes, I will, yes, I'll be there. He's done well. He does a lot for Mablethorpe. He puts Mablethorpe on the map and uh, he promotes Mablethorpe wherever he can. I do, on average, about 350 cries a year. So it's a busy, busy life. Competing the title of Britain's loudest voice. Of course, town cry competitions are nothing new. Oh, yeah. But when it comes to being the world's best, oh, yeah. you've really got to up your game. Oh. This was the standard when the competition was last held in 2019. So as one of 24 taking part, how do people in Mablethorpe rate David's chances? The locals are a friendly lot. Oh, I think he'll win it quite easy. It was very clear. I could hear everything he said. It was uh, very good to watch. He looks the part as well. Full of gusto. I think, he, yeah, he's definitely got a really good chance. And at least with this being a jubilee year, David's got plenty of chance to practice. To Mablethorpe. God save the Queen. Crispin Rolfe, BBC Look North.